Hey guys, welcome to the Showstopper Shows. I'm about to show you how I'm about to paint this door. We have this door, we've looked here about a year, and we are ready to change the color. We're gonna go into a completely different kind of color altogether. We're gonna go to like a blue slash aqua teal kind of color. It's gonna be a lot lighter, a lot brighter. It should go well with our brick and the decor. It should look really good. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start right here because I'm gonna paint this part first. I'm gonna get that done, and then I'm gonna to go to this part. And the thing is, I'm gonna to have to open the door to do this because if you do not open it, it will stick, and then it has to dry. And I'm using latex paint right here, and I wanna make sure that it's completely dry before I close the door. And I'm probably gonna to have to do two good coats. I'm doing semi-gloss exterior paint. It should hold up well. This is a very dry area in our house, so this porch is well uh, protected. And um, I'm gonna use a smaller brush to start with here. Make sure you have a drop cloth. Um, I use this to open stuff. I've wiped the door down. I have sanded the door. I have gotten off any dust or dirt. And I also have a wet rag just in case I spill or drop anything or get it on somewhere I don't wanna get. I'm not taking these off. I will trim around them. I do not need painter's tape. I will be able to get around there with ease. And if you get anything on here, normally you can wipe it off or scrape it off. It's usually pretty easy to do. So let's get started and paint this door. So, as you can see, I'm trying to get it done at a pretty even pace. You always back brush through to get out any extra lines, and you do it very lightly. And you gotta do it while it's still fairly wet, otherwise it will stick, and then you'll have nasty lines. So, keep up with this time lapse, we'll go back to it, and yeah, keep, keep going, let's keep it going. So I figured I'd give you guys a quick up close view of the first coat. As you can see, it's still drying. There's still some lines because it's still drying. And I feel good about that first coat for the most part. I see spots where I'm like, man, I gotta get back in there and get that, but you gotta wait and um, we'll get it. And there's, it's gonna be nice, guys. This is gonna be a nice blue door. All right, let's get on the coat too. All right, this coat has now dried and we're about to go with coat two. So much more blue and I have like our ceiling light on here. There it is. I'm gonna come back and you're gonna see it dry and finished. Let's go. Alright guys, I'm just holding my phone here and I'm just building up a little bit of drama, building it up because the door is done. Like you let me know if you like it. I know, I know, right? Okay, so what I decided to do, and you probably, I didn't show the video of this, I decided that this had to be, you had to paint the door jam along with this. I was painting, I actually painted the one in the back of the house too, it's a double door. It doesn't have the glass on it like this, it's just one big glass thing with the 
uh, the, just basically the design of the door around it. So I decided to do this on both sides. So I did the second coat about an hour ago, so it's pretty much dry. But that is it, guys. That is the door. It was a great project. I love the way it turned out. When I pulled up to the house now, like just coming up the driveway, it just stands out and it's a beautiful door. Uh, it goes great with the color of the brick here. Plus this house, there it is. So if you guys ever need any painting tips, let me know. I've been painting more than 20 years, just, you know, actually like 30 almost. Now that I think about it, darn. But there you go. Hey guys, thanks for watching my video. Don't forget to check out my other how-to videos. Plant a tree, do a basketball goal. I mean, what? I, basically, if I'm doing it, it's going on YouTube. That's the way, otherwise it didn't happen. So thanks for watching. May the force be with you. May his presence be with you. Always put a bow on the show because that's a wrap. Show stops here. Watch this video, that video, whatever.